top 10 psycho Meghan Markle moments showing her real character. Number 10 cringe moment. Video of Prince Harry and his wife Meghan at an event near their home in Cali resurfaced online recently when the couple had an awkward moment on stage when the Duchess joined her husband. Some royal commentators described what happened as cringeworthy. Royal expert Cara Kennedy broke down what was going on in the clip that was shot in May 2022 following a tournament at the Santa Barbara Polo Club. In the video, Meghan was seen walking on stage to present her husband and his Los Padres teammates with a trophy, but then she stayed up on the stage and things got awkward as she appeared to wish for a spot in between the players when no one was acknowledging her. Awkward! Meghan Markle tried to grab an item from one of Harry's teammates, but he refused to give it to her. Cara Kennedy said, adding the whole thing is a catastrophe and very embarrassing for the image conscious couple. This is interesting because I think I've spoken a lot in the past two months about the kind of press crusade Harry went on after his memoir Spare and about how important it is that Meghan stayed 50-50 at all times. I think it is very telling because for a woman that usually tries to weave her way in or push or shove her way into the spotlight at any given time, which is very visible here, I mean this had nothing to do with her. It's obviously very awkward. It's obvious that very clearly she wasn't meant to be on stage, the commentator replied. On to number nine, hug slash curtsy, or as I'd like to say, a hugsy. For the uninitiated is what happens when you go in for a curtsy because you're greeting a duchess, but the duchess, waving off the formality, attempts to pull you in for a hug. The result, she ends up cradling you to her bosom while you're stuck in a lunch. It's something the world saw play out on stage at the One Young World Summit for Youth Leaders when Meghan walked on stage and warmly greeted the founder, Kate Robertson, who was bending a knee. Meghan's known to favor a hug and fun fact, it's actually not against any kind of protocol for her to give an embrace or for commoners to abstain from the more formal royal greetings. Just, it works better when you're both on the same page. Ah, the hugsy. A term coined for a uniquely awkward situation that can only occur in the presence of royalty, but don't worry, it's not just us commoners who are prone to these kinds of mishaps. Even the Duchess herself, Meghan Markle, has fallen victim to this hug-induced chaos. It turns out she's not breaking any royal rules by doing so. Commoners are free to choose whether they want to stick to, with tradition and go for a curtsy or break the mold and go in for a hug. So next time you find yourself in front of a royal, just remember to be prepared for the possibility of a hugsy. And if all else fails, just embrace it, literally. After all, what's a little lunge between friends? <laughs> Number eight, scrutiny. While it was back in 2020 that the couple stepped down from the throne to live a life away from the royal responsibilities to have a quiet and normal life, we can't help but question why everything they've been doing is the exact opposite of quiet. Let's be real here, living a quiet life is overrated. Who wants to spend their days in complete silence? Not Harry and Meghan, that's for sure. While the couple may have left behind all the fuss and formalities of being part of the royal family, it seems they can't escape the media attention. Every move they make is scrutinized and dissected by the public, but hey, at least they're living their best life. And let's not forget the fact that they've been busy building their own empire. From releasing a podcast series with Spotify to signing a production deal with Netflix, these two are not slowing down anytime soon. Number seven, abrasive. Meghan has been accused of abrasive behavior towards staff members and diplomats, according to an explosive royal biography. Looking back at the Sussexes' visit to Sydney, Australia, where they received an amazing reception, Meghan was allegedly abrasive towards her four female staff and even towards local British diplomats. It's no secret Meghan has a very fiery spirit and doesn't shy away from speaking her mind, but according to this biography, it seems like she may have taken things a bit too far. Maybe she was just trying to fit in with the Aussies in their notoriously blunt communication style? We'll never know for sure. But one thing is for certain, Megan definitely knows how to make a splash and get people talking. Whether it's through her fashion choices, humanitarian work, or even just her strong personality, she always manages to grab headlines and keep us on our toes. And let's be real, isn't that what being a royal is all about? Stirring up some controversy and keeping things interesting. And speaking of, on to number six, shaking things up. When news of Harry and Meghan's move out of Kensington to strike out on their own first broke in November of 2018, the public and press came to a unanimous conclusion as to why that would be. Meghan 
We all know that behind every great man is an even greater woman, right? So it makes perfect sense that behind Prince Harry's decision to branch out from the royal family and start anew was his wife Meghan Markle. I mean, let's be real. She quit her acting career to become a duchess, so why not add managing a whole household to her plate? But alas, as it turns out, it wasn't just the Duchess of Sussex who influenced Harry's decision. In fact, according to royal insiders, Meghan was actually hesitant about leaving Kensington Palace at first. Apparently she had grown fond of living there with Prince William and Kate Middleton as neighbors. And while some skeptics may still believe that Meghan is the one pulling all the strings, it's clear Harry had his own reasons for wanting to move. Maybe it was the need for more space as their family grows, or perhaps he simply wanted to follow in his brother's footsteps and create a home of his own. Or maybe, just maybe, Meghan got tired of sharing her husband with the rest of the royal family and wanted a place where they could focus on their own lives without scrutiny. Whatever the real reason may be, one thing is for sure, Harry and Meghan's decision to leave Kensington definitely shook things up in the royal household. Number 5. Drama Leading up to the Oprah interview, the Times reported accusations that Meghan mistreated her palace staff and aides. Well, 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 looks like the royal drama just keeps on giving. Just when we thought things couldn't get more interesting, the Times drops a bombshell about Meghan and her supposed mistreatment of palace aides and staff. Now, we don't know about you, but mistreatment is a pretty strong word. Did she make them work overtime? Forget to say please and thank you? Or did she pull a full on Devil Wears Prada move and throw her cell phone at someone's head? Either way, it seems like Meghan may not have been the most popular boss in the palace. One thing's for sure, this royal drama is far from over. We can't wait to see what other juicy tidbits will be revealed as time goes on, and who knows? Maybe Meghan will address these accusations head on with her signature grace and poise? One can only hope. In the meantime, we're just gonna have to grab some popcorn and sit back to watch this royal roller coaster unfold. Because let's be real, who doesn't love a little bit of drama in their lives? Number four, Spotlight. Meghan and Harry's whirlwind romance has been in the spotlight pretty much since they got together. With fans and haters watching their every move, this couple is used to getting lots of attention, whether they like it or not. When Harry got with Meghan, people started watching Meg like a hawk, dissecting her every move. And we've gotta admit, this former actress definitely knows how to make a statement. But let's take a step back and look at the bigger picture. Meghan and Harry are not just your average celebrity couple. They're breaking barriers and changing the games in more ways than one. First of all, let's talk about their age difference. Meghan is three years older than Harry, which may not seem like a big deal to some, but in the world of royals, where tradition and strict rules often dictate relationships, that's quite significant. And let's not forget that Meghan is an American divorcee, something unheard of in the royal family until now. Number three, mockery. Now, as many know, there's a scene in the series that shows Meghan doing an overly dramatic take of the royal courtesy she was to do when she met the queen. As she's laughing it up, look over to Harry and notice his reaction. That reaction is a classic. But let's be honest, when you're marrying into the royal family, there are some things you need to get used to, like curtsying and bowing to your in-laws. Well done, Meghan, for making light of it. It's refreshing to see her not take herself too seriously. And speaking of royal traditions, did you know that the origin of the curtsy dates back to medieval times? It was originally a gesture of respect and submission to show that one was not armed, but nowadays, it's just a way to show respect and courtesy in formal settings. But let's be real, who wouldn't want to curtsy or bow before Queen Elizabeth II? She was the longest reigning monarch in British history and had been a beloved figure for over six decades. Plus, she always looks so regal and elegant in her colorful outfits and iconic hats. Number two, lying. After the infamous Oprah interview dropped back in 2021, the couple had been accused of prolific lying. With lies being told about racism, amongst other things, people can't help but wonder what is the truth and what's being exaggerated. But let's be real, who hasn't told a lie in their life? I mean, sure, the Sussexes have been accused of big lies, but we all know that little white lies are just as common. For instance, remember when you were younger and your parents would ask if you brushed your teeth before bed? And you'd nod confidently even though you hadn't even picked up a toothbrush. Or about those times you pretended to be busy just so you didn't have to go out with that one friend who always talks your ears off? Lies, 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 they're everywhere. And while may some argue that lying is never justified, let's not forget the countless times it has saved us from awkward situations, or even worse, getting in trouble. I'm an advocate for lying, to be honest. And finally, number one, yes, that's true. Number one, Meghan. Prince Harry's newly formed and deeply damaging anti-royal beliefs 
allegedly are being peddled by Meghan, according to some people in the royal family. According to some royals, Meghan has somehow converted Harry into an anti-royalist. That's right guys, forget about any actual issues plaguing the world, let's talk about how someone's beliefs are causing a stir within the monarchy. Let's take a step back and think about this for a moment. First of all, Harry has always been known as the wild child of the royal family. He's not exactly the most politically correct move, and let's not even get started on his naked shenanigans in Las Vegas. So it's safe to say that Harry may not be the most traditional member of the royal family, but that doesn't mean he's against the institution itself. It just means he likes to have a bit of fun and live life on his own terms. Something many people can relate to. But that is all for today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more news on your favorites. And I'll catch you next time on The Rich Life.